Good afternoon. Everywhere, but especially here in Chicago, it is the beginning of the fest of the festivities for St. Patrick's Day. Friday, and we're feeling good. Yes. Well, I, we had a rough day, kind of. Yeah. So this is gonna be. So we're gonna eat so our good feelings for our soul. Literally, all you can eat fish and chips. Here we come. You ready? joint it is not far away at all from our apartment and they allow dogs in here i'm gonna have to take eve on a walk one morning and come pick this up because it's it's not far at all i like this proverb right here well this quote by josephine baker he was my cream and i was his coffee and when you put us together it was really something cool and it's like it's got to be good because it's got like only a, a menu of like 10 things, not even, you know, so still very curated. Love it. Whoa. There's a super cute little fireplace over there. They do have an outdoor area. I just don't think it's gone. This is my Irish baby, and this is my Irish beer. <laughs> I got a mocktail, but it's a orange mule. So there's orange and lime juice, and then orange Red Bull with the ginger beer. All right, Sarah went rogue. What even is this? <laughs> it's Aaron Chini. Oh, it looks so good. I'm gonna have some. Britney Spears and a dancing baby. I wanted to get this at Viennapoli, like last week, two weeks ago. So. I just went ahead and ordered. Here is Peter's first round of bottomless fish, chips, and gobble. I also got a side Caesar salad. Fish and chips round one, complete. Also, we're making our way. We're making our way. It's delicious. And there's honey on it too, on top of jardinera. All right, here's the replacement fish. Now I thought I was gonna get a whole free replacement, but we're gonna we're gonna work with it. I might have to order more, but it looks good. Gonna... <laughs> now that the French fry restock. They have redeemed themselves with the amount of French fries they gave us. The finale to the kickoff to St. Patrick's Day events. A shot of bushel. Um, this place gave us 400 napkins. <laughs> Every one of them. This drink is so good. I want to make this for my own. When we get home. Orange mule. I think I said orange Red Bull mule. No alcohol. And look who's brought out a bushy tail. Okay, so we're gonna rate the food. Um, I think the food was a C plus. I think it was a B minus. I think the experience was an A. Solid I think the experience was an A minus. Yeah? Yeah. Well, it was all about... St. Patty's Day. The company. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> I mean, I really, I really think we enjoyed like the actual restaurant, and the bar, like the look of the bar, the music videos. Uh -huh. They're loving Jamesy. I liked overall the pizza. Yeah. But the, my second batch of, of french fries was really good. <laughs> and I love a good festive like green beer, even though it was just Bud Light. Right. But because it's the weekend, it's getting ready for St. Patrick's Day. Yeah. But it really was like your first non-Disney happy hour. Like, yeah. You got Which, $4 beers. Like, I got $4 beers and a $4 shot of whiskey. So. Yeah, that is... Can't I'm complain sorry, with that. Yeah, I'm sorry compared to what we've been used to. So. But now we have to go home and uh, we're going to go home and decorate. We'll unpack. Right. Finish getting settled. And be so happy. Doesn't he look like Prison Mike? <laughs> he did so good too. <laughs> he did. Everyone was loving him. You're such a big kid now. 
He's this big at Sarah can just we can walk in and just plop him right down. <laughs> Evie, do you smell all the good food on us? Eve, can you tell him the news? Rather than being productive tonight, we've decided that we're all just gonna get in comfies and watch some TV or some movies and just relax on the couch to start off the weekend. Does that sound fun? Does that sound fun? You gonna have fun? Huh? Oh gosh. Oh gosh, that's your puppy, Jamesy boy. Okay, since we're all getting in comfies to watch movies tonight, James is going in this funny, like, sleep dress. Say hello to Bob Cratchit for me. <laughs> Outfit. It's from Karen and Kayla. And then, we're gonna watch, and Sarah said, confess that she's only like, truly watched this from one end to the other once, and it's a classic for me. So we're gonna Shaun of the Dead. Cheers. Cheers. Jinx! To our first restful night in. Right. <laughs> Gosh. <laughs> we sit. interrupt this sit. movie. Sit. Does it hurt to sit? Oh. Evie jumped off her little windowsill. <laughs> His right back paw was hurt. Like she jumped and she made the saddest noises she's ever made. Could not put any pressure on it. Peter got her puppy ice cream to make her feel better, and she ran for it. So it's it's sore. She's not. She's once again not sitting on it. Yeah. It probably just. Oh it, no! No, she's not putting pressure on it at all. It's gotta be just sore. Oh gosh. Look at this hair from my hat. A little pup date. She's just been resting. It turned out to still be hurting her a lot, even though she was like walking on it and standing on her hind legs. She doesn't want right. to put weight on it. Yeah, I think that she was just excited for the ice cream. And like, it doesn't hurt bad enough for her to not be excited. And I was like grabbing her thigh, moving the joint, grabbing mm -hmm. her legs, her knees, putting pressure on it. It's so like she wasn't wincing in any of that. Or yelping or anything. So we're hopeful, but, but I right. think it just like scared her and it's sore. Not bad enough for her to like constantly be vocalizing that she's in pain, but enough for it to be affecting her. So we'll, we'll probably just take her in the morning. We'll see how she is in the morning first. Yeah. We'll yeah, see like, we'll if she's walking and, and, and putting all of her weight on us. Um, we won't, but anything else. There's, there's I, we already found a, a vet close by that opens up at 8 a.m. So I'll carry her into our room tonight and put her on her, her doggy bed. So we watched Shaun of the Dead. We watched, what's your show called? For, For all, all mankind. mankind. So stressful. It's a good show. Um, we're going to bed before midnight. That's Even on the weekend. Five days in a row. I have to text Grant and see if he's going to come with me tomorrow morning. Grant's been on... Majority. I've been done four runs this week or five runs this week? Five. I've done five runs this week. He's come on all of them except for one. Yeah. Um, so I'm going to text him and see if he thinks he's going to be game. Actually, it might have been four, but... But we're going to go to bed now. <laughs> Should we just forget the daily message? No, but we'll sign off here. All righty. Daily message. Well, this kind of works out. Oh, this kind of works out nice when you do it like that. The 12th. Love is such a grief. <laughs> love is such a deep gratitude. When you are truly in love with life, every breath you take is gratitude. Bryant McGill. It's good to be home. It's good to be home. We know what our goals are. We know what we hope to accomplish. And believe me, it's the most exciting and challenging assignment we've ever tackled at Walt Disney Productions.